Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna look at this plastic live animal rodent trap that's great for catching mice or rats. This trap comes out of Asia. The instructions with it are written in characters that I can't read, but the design is so simple you don't even need them. I've seen this exact same trap advertised under different brand names. At least five different companies are selling it. This particular one is sold under the brand name Quoku, but the mechanism is exactly the same on all these different brands. The way it works is there's a little door on a hinge here that has some uh, latches. You pull back that latch, pull it up, and it catches. It catches right there on this rod that's connected to the trigger pad. So what happens is the mouse or rat enters through the front of the trap, comes through to get the bait and steps on that trigger pad, and releases that door and it's caught. Now I've recently reviewed several traps where they're caught in plastic tubes or plastic bottles. And I found that by the morning, the animal gets pretty stressed. It gets hot and humid in there. And a nice feature is the back here removes and it has some breathe holes and it's a place where you can put your bait. You just wanna make sure that when you install this, you snap it in real good so that the animal can't get out. And then in the morning when you wanna release them, you can take them outside, open up the front, open up that door and they can run out. I'm really curious to see how this trap works. So we're gonna go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can get some mice or rats to enter the trap step on that little trigger pad and get caught. Let's go test it out. If you look in the back of the trap, last night we caught a mouse in our Quoku plastic mouse trap. He's sitting there back by the breathe holes and he looks pretty good. I'm sure he's ready to get out. So I'm gonna open up this front door and I'll let him run free. There he goes. Now one thing I learned with these traps are that mice are pretty light and if you set this all the way back, it's difficult to trap them. They'll go and get the bait and run out. What I had to do is I actually had to pull this little lever almost all the way back until the door almost opened and I make it a hair trigger. That way when the mouse comes in and steps on it, it's much lighter and will catch them. And I didn't have any rats go in this. It's a pretty tight squeeze for them to go in and they're cautious, but we did catch mice so it does work. So overall an interesting design, but it did not catch mice every time. So I don't know if I recommend this as highly as some of the other traps I've tested.